Hey guys, Nick, aka the Well in Crisis YT, and today I want to talk about something that some of you may care about, some of you may not. I really, in all honesty, don't care about it, but people talk about it all the time, it seems like. And I just want to give my two cents in. It's not worth much, but it's two cents, so I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the pot. What I want to talk about today is what determines skill in Call of Duty. Some people say it's K KD, kill death ratio, some people say it's win loss. I don't think either of those, and I'm going to explain why I don't and what I do think determines skill. So, first off, KD. Why do I not think KD determines skill? And it's simple. A uh, 5 and 1 KD. Having 5 kills and 1 death is a 5.0 KD. And that is better than someone who has 20,000 kills and 10,000 deaths, which is a 2.0 KD. Okay, so that in itself shows me that KD really doesn't matter. And uh, if anything, playtime matters more, and I'll get into that later, but... You know, that right there, in my opinion, debunks KD that it shouldn't even be considered. And if it's considered, it should be only considered if someone has over 10,000 plus kills. And, uh, you know, go off of that. I guess that's okay if they have at least 10,000 kills. But anything less than that, it's like, really, your KD is still really variable. It's not going to be locked in place or anything like that. And it's a bad determination of skill. Also, what if someone, when they first got, for example, Modern Warfare 3 back in November... It was their first Call of Duty. They were really bad, but since then, they've clocked over a month of playtime. They've clocked like 30 days on this game, and now they're pulling two KDs every match. KD isn't a good determination of skill with those people because when they first started out, their KD wasn't that great, and now it is. And uh, it's really hard to recover a KD once you get, you know, over 10, 15,000 kills because it's locked. So many deaths and so many, you know kills, it's just hard to cut, recover it once you get to a certain point. So, you know, those people, KD really isn't a good determination of skill. Now, win-loss ratio, that doesn't really show your personal skill at all unless it's mostly free-for-all. If, like, you play 10,000 free-for-all games out of your... Wait, that's way too much. If you played, like, 2,000 free-for-all games out of your 3,000 matches, then it probably is a good determination of your solo skill. But otherwise, if you've played mostly TDM, Domination, or any team game mode, it shows you work well with a team. And uh, you're good at predicting spawns and things like that. But And that's that's good, and that's good, and that can help somebody. Oh, okay, so you've won a lot of matches. I I'll go ahead and pick you up, and you might be valuable to my team, depending on what role you play, whether you rush, whether you sit back and camp, you know, or a defensive player and defend. And, and that, that really is what it comes down to. How do you play the game? Because someone who rushes a lot is going to have a lower KD statistically on average than someone who sits back in camps. And that's simply because someone who rushes is always in the action. They're always, you know, getting in the action and trying to kill people. Whereas people who aren't in the spotlight, you know, and sitting back defensive with a sniper rifle or the M16 or Top 95 aren't going to have as high of KDs because they're not up in the spotlight. They're not out getting kills and not putting themselves in harm's way as much. And uh, you play the game however you want to, but that's just you know, a determining factor on how much your KD matters, and even win-loss can have, that can have a little bit of an effect on your win-loss as well, so there you go. Um, but to me, what determines skill? Okay, I'm not even going to mention accuracy because you can be as inaccurate as you want and do well. My accuracy is, it's like 20% or whatever is what my accuracy is, I think, and, and that's good, I guess, but you know, if my accuracy was 15%, and I know people whose accuracy is like 15% and they're just as good as I am, so there you go. But um, what do I think determines skill in Call of Duty? I think raw gameplay does. And you might be like, what? How someone plays in the game. And it comes back to, like I said, rushing versus camping. You know, if you're camping and you do very well, you know, then you're a decent camper. If you rush and you do very well, you're a decent rusher. And you might be like, how can you be a decent camper? Grr, grr, grr. Camping is a legitimate play style, guys. And I'm going to make a video probably about this. And I'll spit up the Reaper here. But I'm going to probably make a video about this in the next coming days. But um, camping is a legitimate play style. And, and I'm okay with people who camp. So there you go. But so it, it comes down to that. And it also comes down to simply play time. How long have you played this game? Because I guarantee someone who's played... I'm talking about the whole Call of Duty series, not just like a certain Call of Duty game, but someone who's played the whole Call of Duty series month, you know, 30 days or over 100 days is going to be better than someone who's just played it one day, a clock one day of game time on it. it. It's just statistically how it happens, and sure, there could be some outliers. There could be someone who's played 30 or 40 days who is bad and who has 
a terrible games day in and day out, you know, who always goes like negative 32. And there could be some guys who pick up Call of Duty and do amazing, but statistically and on average, you're probably going to see most people are better if they've played longer, and most people who haven't played as long are worse. So if you guys want to get good at COD, just clock some time in, and chances are you'll improve. Today's question of the day is, what do you think determines skill in Call of Duty? Tell me in the comment section down below. Also, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. I'm Crisis YT, and I'm out. Peace. <laughs>